Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. No, I'm not gonna work today on the beach. I have some friends in town from Germany and we going on a little LA trip. Let's check it out. There's not much going on here early in the morning in Venice. They got all those beautiful fire engines here. The Los Angeles Fire Department, they're doing some kind of exercise right now. But I love looking at those fire engines. Look how clean they are. And then over here, we got the Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics. And as you can see right over here, they're doing some kind of exercise. They just installed those brand new parlors and you can actually move them up and down so the fire engines can come to the beach but nobody else can drive through here. Those girls are ready to serve. The queen is in town. The birds are just chilling. They just arrived in Venice. A day in LA tours. People are getting on the bus already. Should I go in? No, I think I'm gonna do my own tour today. The artists in Venice are working hard. He's doing a pretty good job over there. And here comes my ride today. We got Helmut as a driver and his son Max. They're visiting from Germany. And today we're gonna do a LA tour GIV style. Great, Mike. Come on, let us start. All right, let's do it. Well, it feels so good that I don't have to drive today. He's my driver for today. Max, how do you like America so much? It's amazing. Amazing. What do you think, Helmut? I like it. I'm here plenty of times. It's my second home. Second home, but he still don't know everything. That's why GIV is going to show him around today. This is the four or five underpass on Venice Boulevard. Nothing have changed here since the last three years. Homeless are still underneath the bridge. They even setting up more towards Culver City now. Going on the 10 freeway to downtown LA. by birds, rabbits. Helmut, do you need any religious stuff here? Look at this. Whatever you need for your house. We got the Jesus on the cross. We got the Maria. We got everything here. For your next quinceanera, what kind of dress do you like? Wow. Or a little bit more nightlife. Look how cute those little sneakers are. Look, you already got your LA shirt on here. Max, how about any of those shoes? Maybe someday, but not today. <laughs> not today. What do you got? The red one, the red velvet one. Yeah, I think they make me sexy. <laughs> you gotta see it to believe it. Yeah, that would fit. I prefer this one. Yeah, maybe that one. And the head. And some cowboy boots. Alligator. I've been to the Santee Alley hundreds of times, but every time I have a friend come over, I have to show up the Santee Alley. I think it's fun to walk around here and check everything out. And every time you come here, you see something new. Look at the Mario here and Luigi. All the anime. All those model supercars with the graffiti on it. Why didn't we have stuff like this when I was a kid? Temporary tattoos. Well, he got a real deal here. I never seen those before. Charlie Brown. Helmut, what do you think about this market here? Oh, it's a little bit different. So I like the colors, uh, like the location. 
uh, it's amazing it's a different place is it a must see when you go to LA uh, for sure because you're not expected all right oh, you get it with one of those oh I can't touch it I get goosebumps when I touch those <laughs> they got all kinds of drinks here everything fruta 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 Kia mini Helmut's gonna buy a dress for his girlfriend this one <laughs> Do people really wear shoes like this? I mean, I wear Crocs, but I don't think so. All different signs. Sting like a bee, float like a butterfly. Here we got the real Homeland Security. Ready for Venice Beach? Look at the golden one here. You look like you're from LA already. You got the LA head on and the LA shirt. There we go. That's a cool cover. Yeah, I like it too. Original old camera. Eddie. Eddie. Look at all the bling bling purses you can buy here. Even a McDonald's bag with french fries. Or like a cloth. We are on 6th Street, which goes right over the 6th Street Bridge. And this is Skid Row here. You have probably seen all my old videos from Skid Row. It hasn't much changed the last three years. Once they told everybody they're gonna clean up downtown Skid Row, but that never really happened. So it still looks exactly the same like three years ago. And of course, you've seen it many times, but he has not seen the Sixth Street Bridge yet. So we're going over the Sixth Street Bridge. If you want to know a little bit more about the facts and everything about the bridge, just watch my other video I've done on my YouTube channel. Check it out. Of course, I got to take some pictures because this is a great view here. This is even a better view here. Take a good picture. Oh, this thing burned down over here. Where can you get a shot like this? Only with GIV. We love LA. See, they didn't put a fence up there yet, but they started putting a higher fence up here. They're spending over $700,000 for cameras and new fences. But still, if there's any teenager, they still climb up here. It's really easy still. We've seen donuts on the bridge. We've seen people cutting hair. And now people playing the saxophone here. Everything to get some exposure. Alright. I prefer to drive over the bridge towards the LA Art District from Boyle Heights because you see downtown in the front. The next location is Melrose Avenue. It's not a must, but I think it's a pretty cool place. And he likes graffitis as well. You like graffitis? Yeah. Let's go check out the graffitis. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. Life is about learning to dance in the rain. And if you don't know, now you know. Peter, what are you doing with me? Kobe's still the number one in LA. Loving it. You don't have to be beautiful to impress me. You can find some good graffitis in the alley. Tomorrow is overrated. Love me today. Something happened here on Melrose. I didn't figure out yet. But the ghetto bird is here. 
Look, there's a TMZ bus. How come there's always Channel 5 News wherever I go? Christian Audigier. This is Michael Jackson's favorite place. It used to be the Michael Jackson's favorite place where he used to shop at Hardy's store. There's some pictures online. Uh, looks like it burned down. Can I take that fire hydrant home? I love that. Closing off everything. Maybe somebody hit the fire hydrant. I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe the GIV should get some gold teeth like this. When you're in the city of angels, of course you gotta take some pictures with the wings right here on Melrose. Instagram. Caution, men at work. Do -do -do -do. Do -do. Melrose used to be the hippest street in Los Angeles in the 80s. Now they tried to revive it, but I think Albert Kinney is now the most famous street here in LA. It was unbelievable how many celebrities you've seen here on Melrose back then. They got some cool stores. Look at all that stuff they have right here. Pretty dope. But like everywhere else, they're closed, they're closed, they're closed. They are closed, closed. There's another one over there, closed. Who's that, Joe Rogan? Listen to me. You gotta eat the vegetables. Don't eat the meat anymore. Go vegan. Eeyore, what happened to you? Why do you look so sad? What's up, Freddy? I'm not here. This isn't happening. Kind of like a Banksy. Shooting roses. A material, a material girl. Is that Madonna? I'm not sure. It looks like her. Love is love. That's my favorite. That's your favorite one? All right. That one is not bad either. We got Nipsey and Kobe on one wall. Penny, Pennywise. Most of the stores on Melrose used to be rock and roll. Seems like now it's a little bit more hip hop. Another Nipsey next to Kobe. Closed, 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 also closed. California Suns. Wasteland. That's the perfect spot to take pictures here. Nice. Look at the different colors. They really pop. Check out some shoes, cookies and kicks. I think those are some easies. 400. If you think these shoes was expensive, this is 500. Shop is closed too, but look at all the graffitis on there. Genius. Right now we're standing behind the Hollywood sign, but it's a mirror, but let me change this. And here we are behind the Hollywood sign. Here we are at the world famous Grauman Theater. People are dressed up, but we are not gonna walk around here today because they've been here already. And look, I don't know what line is this here. I have no idea what they're lining up for. TMZ Celebrity Tours. How about if I had a bus like this and I put GIV Celebrity Tours on there? Jimmy Kimmel Live. You can rent a Ferrari for $89 and then one for $149. Another Ferrari for $69. Here's the famous church where they filmed Enchantment Under the Sea. Don't forget to come here on Friday. Back to the future, the experience. This is like a side street from the Hollywood Bowl going towards Universal Studios. And those are all RVs where people live in. They just park their RVs and they stay here and they don't get any tickets. And believe it or not, this is Lake Hollywood on the way to the Hollywood sign. It is a little bit curvy, but as you can see, really nice view. Wow, this is an absolutely tourist trap here. Look, everybody's taking a picture of the Hollywood sign here. We 
are going up the hill. And here it is, the Hollywood sign. It's on everybody's bucket list when you come to Los Angeles. And this is the view you have when you live here. You go down the stairs and you look up to the Hollywood sign. You got a pretty nice view. And if you want to come up here too, you just got to type in the Ronda Drive 3300 North. But you cannot park here because this is all private. You got to park a little bit further down and then walk up here. When you come here, you see the door is closed, but you got to walk around here. There's like a little walkway. And normally the door is always open. And this is how you walk up to the Hollywood sign. Very high fire hazard, says Smokey the Bear. So you're not allowed to smoke. It's a $1,000 fine. You got downtown in the background. There's really no fog today, really nice. And if you pan over, you see the Hollywood sign. And we attempt to walk all the way behind it right now. They got some really nice houses down here. Look at this nice house with the pool, but it's really a headache driving all the way up here, all those curvy streets. Normally when you come up here, there's not that many people here. I've never seen this. Look at this one here. Look at this, it's like a tour bus here. Everybody cameras out, taking pictures. Let's go, you have 10 more seconds, we gotta go. Look at the cactuses here. You don't hear any sound at all. So quiet. There's the observatory down that way. Look at me, every time I go up here, I'm out of breath. I'm wearing my sneakers so it's easier to walk up here. And look at this guy. He got his shirt off and he's wearing flip-flops to walk up to the Hollywood sign. What, they have rattlesnakes here? Oh my goodness. And it's a thousand dollar fine if you smoke here. Look at this guy, he's flying up here with his music playing. Excuse me, do you know the way to the Hollywood sign? I don't know, can spider jump? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what you see when you go up the Hollywood sign. Hurry up, the spider already passed you. What's going on here today? Where are you going? See, when you do a trip like this, you get to meet all those bunny. Bunny, where are you going? Bunny. Yeah, bunny. Cameras everywhere and no drone zone behind the Hollywood sign. Even more cameras. I've been up here many times. I cannot get enough of it, but I promise you one day I'm going to touch one of those letters legally. I, I find somebody who can get me access to the Hollywood sign and then I will touch it. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Hollywood sign. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell. Subscribe to his channel. That's right. I see you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.